Hey mama, I wanted to share everything that I am getting for baby number two. As a second time mom, I just feel like I have so much more insight and I'm a little wiser about what you actually need versus what you don't need for a baby and I wanted to share all of that with you today in this video. I will link everything that I mentioned in the description box down below as well as give you tons of helpful baby registry tips throughout this video. I'm currently 22 weeks pregnant with a baby boy due in in May. We are so excited and blessed and while we still have tons of great baby gear from my daughter who's now three, we're still needing some new things just by having two kids. We move so we have a little bit different of a layout in the house, a different gender this time around, as well as having my daughter being born during COVID. We didn't get a chance to really like go to the store and check things out or some new products have come out at this point and I kind of want to try them <laughs> since they seem like they'll be helpful. My name is Stephanie and and I share pregnancy, baby, toddler, and mom tips here on YouTube. And I would love to have you subscribe to help support you on your motherhood journey. So I did decide to use baby list to create a baby registry because we will be having a baby sprinkle, but also to use it just as a checklist, it, like for my own head of everything we are wanting, needing for baby number two. So starting off with baby gear, we already have a pretty big baby swing, which I love with Gianna but I did want to add a like smaller more compact baby swing for the new house just something that's a little easier to maybe fit in the kitchen or even bring here into the nursery um, when baby's born I added a new height chair as well the current height chair we have is okay but just now since we're going to have a toddler with a baby I wanted something that was a little more compact just because we have Gianna's learning tower in our kitchen and then our old height chair chair was a bit bulky so adding something that can fold up be stored away off to the side can just help us save a little more space in the kitchen I also put the mom cozy wearable double breast pump on here I have a Mandela breast pump that hooks up to the wall all plugged in but I have really been liking the idea of a wearable breast pump it just seems a lot more user-friendly as a new mom of two because when your hands are full either with your toddler or your newborn you're able to at least still be pumping and get that milk out and I even have a mom friend who said she will pump even while driving her toddler to preschool so that just seems like such a <laughs> genius mom hack <laughs> next I think I want some kind of like infant lounger we had the boppy newborn lounger but that item did get recalled so we won't be using that this time around and I'm really on the fence about this one I don't know spending this much money on kind of like a pillow I'm trying to debate in my head if it is worth it I know newborn loungers are used for such a short period of time but a lot of moms seem to like them I'm not completely sure if I'll be getting this one or not but if I am I plan to look on like Facebook marketplace or borrowing it from a friend so we shall see about this one and then I added a baby playpen as well this would have been way too big to have in our condo that we moved from but being in our new house now we would have space and I can just see it being helpful um, with the way our house is laid out with like the kitchen and family room a little more separate especially as baby starts to get more mobile at least they are contained and um, don't have to worry about them getting into too much trouble when um, they're out of view a little bit for the transportation section I am really interested in wanting to try one of these like rotating convertible car seats a couple brands have started making them and I honestly wish I had one of these with Gianna because it can just be really tricky to like get your baby in the position of in your arms and like all you know into the car seat and it would just would have been easier having a seat to turn and plop them in buckle and then turn them back to like the right way they're supposed to face you honestly do not even need a convertible car seat until your baby is around 12 months old so this could even be a first birthday gift idea for the first 12 months of Gianna's life we just 
just used our infant car seat carrier and would just have a car seat base in my car as well as my husband's and that way we were able to like transport her and everything and I'll link up here to a video explaining the differences between an infant car seat versus a convertible car seat because that totally confused me as a new mom but I really like the idea of this rotating one and I kind of have it on my list too just to like price check it and watch it um if it goes on sale so that one would be in my car since we'd be using it most often and then I did add another convertible car seat more of just like your regular one to keep in my husband's car so that way I can have the two car seats in my car and then he can have two in his car so we're ready to go with the kids with whatever car we choose and then I put two baby mirrors on here so again one for my car one for my husband's and then a car seat organizer it's a two pack so we currently have this for my daughter we keep one in my car and then one for my husband so then just having another kid would like to have one of those two for one for my car one for my husband's to help keep things organized because I need that <laughs> as a mom and then for a stroller I wasn't super in love with the stroller we got with my daughter I didn't really get the chance to like go to bye bye baby and like a test drive anything because of COVID. But at the time, I remember a lot of moms recommending for me to register for a double stroller, which has two seats and is great for kids close in age. However, now that our kids will be about four years apart, so a newborn and Gianna turns four in the spring, she hates the stroller and hasn't used it in a couple of years now and just wants to be more independent. So the stroller option that I'm now looking into is called a sit and stand stroller. So it has like the one seat or spot to put your infant carrier and then for the second child it has more of like a bench slash standing board and I really like that idea and think it will function better for our kids age gap because it allows Gianna to be super independent but you know if we're at the zoo or the mall or wherever and she does begin to get tired you know she has somewhere at least to like sit or stand instead of being confined and strapped in to like a seat which she totally hates. <laughs> so I'm currently in between the Juvie Caboose and the Great Go ready to grow. But ultimately, I think getting a sit and stand stroller will be awesome <laughs> for our new family. So for clothing, we have a lot of clothes for my daughter, which I have been like organizing over the years by size and everything, you know, not knowing if we were going to have another boy or girl or whatever. And of course, clothes are just clothes, but we did have a lot more like girl clothes and pink and flowers and princess stuff. I didn't really get a lot of neutral clothing the first time around. So now that we're having a baby brother, I do want to get more boy clothes for him in like the blue, green, and tan color categories. To each their own, of course, but even if we were having another girl, I still would want to get her some new clothes just so she can have her own stuff and just remember her babyhood in her own way rather than just wearing all of Gianna's hand-me-downs. So I don't know, to each their own, but I did kind of break it down into different categories. So like zero to three months, three to six, and then six to nine. I loved, loved, loved the Halo sleep sacks and swaddles for Gianna. And so we already have quite a few of those, but I would like to get another one in each size, just so that there's always two, one that can be worn, and then one that could be in the wash. I didn't register for any newborn clothes because I feel like you don't get as much use out of them. So for zero to three months, I added a four pack of body suits that are long sleeve, a four pack of short sleeve body suits, and then about four sleep in plays. Make sure you get the ones with the zippers because at least personally for me, I just did not like dealing with all the snaps and the buttons and zippers were just so, so much easier for diaper changes. I do like to keep baby's wardrobe pretty minimal and I'll link to a video up here showing how many clothes you actually really need for your baby and by keeping things pretty minimal it does cut down on more laundry in the long run for you which is kind of a mom win too and then for the three to six month size I added another sleep sack as well as some sleep and plays body suits and pants 
Having a spring slash summer baby, we really didn't even bother with pants um, during that newborn stage because the temperatures were pretty good here and mild here in Michigan. We would usually just tuck like a little blanket around Gianna's legs if she was chilling in the swing or if we were going on a walk in the stroller too. And then kind of the same for six to nine months, I added another sleep sack in the next size up as well as some more long sleeve bodysuits and pants because that will be more of like the winter time here for us at that point. I really don't think you need all that many clothes for a baby, especially to get you started. I know I was kind of tricked into thinking that I needed tons of stuff and it just like really wasn't the case for us. So I I do think a small amount of clothes is a good way to get started and you can always add on more as needed as your baby grows. We've also had some friends give us some baby boy hand-me-downs which I am so thankful for. I love me some good hand-me-downs. It's like my love language <laughs> and always buying kids clothing on sale or secondhand has been some helpful ways to help me save money on wardrobe costs throughout the years. For the feeding category, I added some new burp cloths, a 10 pack of blue and a 10 pack of white ones. Just could use some fresh ones after baby number one. And then I added some cute pacifiers. Some babies take a pacifier, others don't. Gianna kind of just stopped having interest in hers after she was about three months old, but I remember them being helpful in the beginning. New baby bottle brushes because we use those like every single second of the day when cleaning our baby bottles. And then with Gianna, I loved the Philips Avent Natural Baby Bottles. We got the like newborn starter set and she took super well to them and I just liked how easy they were to clean. But I remember that some of like the writing was starting to fade on the bottles of like how you measure like the water and the ounces and the formula and scoops and stuff so just adding a few more to replace those bottles that got a little worn out some more milk storage bags and this part was so interesting to me as a first time mom because i feel like you don't really know what your feeding style is going to be until like your baby is here and you meet one another my plan originally with gianna was to breastfeed and like at the time there was just like no lactation help because you know everything was shut down and I tried watching videos and I just I couldn't figure it out for some reason like both of us couldn't so what I ended up doing was we did like half pumped milk and half formula so kind of like a combo feed for her and honestly I was really happy with that I was proud that I was able to like pump milk for almost three months before switching to all formula and I'm just gonna go into everything with a very open mindset again with plan a trying to breastfeed plan b combo feeding but having somewhere to store the pumped milk um, is of course helpful in the fridge and then this little ladybug haka milk collector I thought this was really cool because something that surprised me as a first-time mom was how much breast milk leakage there can be and I was using like disposable breast pads at that time and they would just be like soaked with breast milk and I'm like well that was kind of a waste <laughs> so so I like how you're able to just like kind of pop this ladybug into your bra between pumping sessions and then any leakage that does happen um you're able to catch it so at least it becomes like usable breast milk instead of just stuff that goes into the trash and then I wanted to try some more like reusable breast pads instead of the disposable ones this time around I just like personally hate throwing things away especially if I know there's like an alternative to like be able to reuse or recycle something and so I wanted to give these reusable breast pads a try especially for like when I'm sleeping because I remember waking up with plenty of wet white t-shirts <laughs> and these had good reviews on Amazon too, so give them a try. And then I added this three pack of silicone bibs. I prefer the silicone so, so much more to cloth. They're just easier to clean, especially when you start to dabble in solids. So I thought the blue, green, and like a khaki color, super cute for baby boy. And then for the feeding category too, I really loved our Oxotot Space Saving Baby Bottle Drying Rack. I just liked how compact it 
it was and it has like a top storage area for like pacifiers nipples syringes anything that's kind of on the smaller side and I just preferred it so much more than like the Boone um, grass baby bottle drying rack that took up a little more counter space <laughs> for bath time we already have our Fisher Price baby bathtub which we will be reusing and then I added these suction cup toys which are honestly low-key for Gianna <laughs> but they'll become a good bath toy for baby brother too as he grows up this little kid step stool from Target we already have one in the bathroom and I would just like to get a second one so the kids can have like matching stools or even to use as like a chair for us parents to sit on when we are doing bath time I added some baby washcloths as well as some towels and then the Cetaphil baby wash and shampoo was my favorite the smell was super mild and it just reminds me of the newborn stage. It's very gentle and worked very well for our family. And then diapering. This category is honestly the star of the show here. If you need anything for a new baby, this is probably what you need. But my favorite baby wipes are the Huggies Natural Wipes. They are unscented and I like that you can pull out one wipe at a time. Other brands would get a little weird and like when you would try to grab one wipe, multiple would come out at a time. And I've just had the best luck with Huggies so I added those here a few boxes and then I really liked the Huggies little snuggler diapers as well so adding sizes in newborn size 1 and size 2 the recommended weights are listed on each of the boxes so once your baby grows out of the newborn size they will naturally move up to size 1 2 3 and so on using brand name diapers like Huggies is super great for nighttime just because you can really count on the absorbency and everything but I did find that for daytime diaper changes that store brand honestly worked just fine but either use like the Meyer brand diapers or the parents choice from Walmart so you can save a little bit of money there by using store brand during the day and then more like brand names such as Huggies or Pampers at nighttime that is a tip that another mom shared with me in the baby aisle so I want to make sure that I pass it on to you guys too and then for the nursery and sleeping, we already have a bassinet and two bassinet sheets. So baby will be sleeping in our bedroom for about the first six months or so. And then once baby outgrows his bassinet, we will transition here into the nursery. Our third bedroom here is also identical to the layout that Gianna's nursery was at our old house. So I'm planning to just set things up the same way with furniture and everything. I'll go Go ahead and link the nursery tour as well as with some organizational tips up above for you guys too. From Gianna we already have our baby crib as well as two crib mattress protectors, the rocking chair that I'm sitting in now as well as a dresser. We have the skip hop changing pad as well and I love that one because it was wipeable with the silicone compared to other changing pads that have more of a fabric cover that you're having to launder. So I really like the clean and wipeable surface for when accidents did happen. I know we're also going to reuse our baby monitor. I believe that one was Summer Infant. We ended up getting like a new baby monitor for her somewhere down the line and I kind of forget why but we switched to like a Google Nest or something so we could have like the view on our phones. So we might get a second one of those for for baby just so like the two kids can be on the same app but otherwise we just had a very simple camera and like physical monitor that we could hear and see her with so the stuff that we really need here in the nursery is because Gianna's already using it in her room currently another set of blackout curtains for baby brother's room my favorite white noise machine I like how this one can either be plugged in or is battery operated so you can like take it around the house with you we like to use the ocean sound very calming and then I put on some like baby video monitor mounts we honestly could use one of these for Gianna's room too because her camera is currently just like on the dresser right now and you can't really get a good angle of 
her. So mounting something up a little higher so you can have a bird's eye view of baby I think will be a little more helpful this time. Some storage bins for the closet and a four cubby organizer just to keep odds and ends and knickknacks and clothes in the next size up organized. And then just some nice white crib sheets. The crib sheets we had for Gianna were very like pink and floral. And while I love those for her jungle themed baby room, in the new nursery we're doing a little more coastal and beachy and just like neutral tones. So just having some simple white sheets and getting the two packs, you can always be using one washing one um, should do the trick. And I put on here too just a super simple white plastic hamper. They have so many cute baby hampers out there but I found that baby clothes and milk dribble do not mix very well together especially when it's in like a contained environment. So like a hamper that has a fabric or has a lid. We were having like mold problems or something so I just switched over to a super simple plastic camper and that way the clothes can breathe and do their thing and it's just super easy and cheap too. And then some stuff for me because moms of course need to be taken care of during the postpartum period too. I really preferred the free to mom disposable underwear over like the adult diapers. I would just wear one of the free to mom underwears and place an always Xfinity pad and it just helps me to keep really dry and would change out the pad as needed. So that was really good for like the days after postpartum. And then my favorite like nighttime lazy day underwear now is the Kindred Bravely high-waisted postpartum panty. The lace is just so soft and they sit up nice and high on your tummy. Cotton, super breathable and high quality too. I know the nursing bra that I ended up liking best was the Target's Auden nursing bra. And the thing I liked most about it was that the pads were actually sewn into the bra so it made doing the laundry super easy because some of the other nursing bras they had like removable pads and they would just always fall out and get crinkled and then you got to shove them back in there and I just did not enjoy <laughs> that whole process so if anything getting nursing bras with the pads sewn in um, is really really helpful and then I also love these pajama pants from Target too it's the beautifully soft pajama pant by stars above they're just so light and breathable and non-restricting around the tummy area and I still wear them to this day they are just super comfortable especially for postpartum and then also for postpartum from the hospital you can usually bring home like the peri bottle that you'll use for like down there healing and maintenance when you go to the bathroom the like dermaplast spray which helps um, numb any pain as well as as tux pads that help aid in the healing process and ice packs too. I know they sell that stuff at the store too but it was nice being able to bring home those items from the hospital too. And then money. <laughs> Cash is king. I added some Amazon and Target gift cards and they're just so helpful and nice to have on hand when you need like unexpected things or even to honestly treat yourself <laughs> with some new clothes that help you feel confident in your new body after giving birth. Gift cards are just always super helpful for any new mom. <laughs> I hope that was a super helpful walkthrough of everything I am getting for baby number two. I try to make it as detailed as I could because I know that's how my brain works and I'm just always thinking and you know, kind of overthinking about like what if this, what if that. So let me know if you have any other questions down below of course. I would love to help answer them with the experience that I now have and again everything will be linked in the description box down below so you can check out all the items we talked about here today too. If you're expecting congratulations I know it's such an exciting time but can also be a little overwhelming so make sure you subscribe and feel free to check out more of my channel that has tons of helpful tips for first-time moms and now I'm honestly <laughs> really tired. It's been raining this whole time and I feel like I cannot keep my eyes open for a second longer. So I think me and baby are gonna go lay down and take a bit of a nap. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!